travel all over the world, sitting at home, is that possible? Where Queens Forever comes at your doorsteps. Wow, what a beautiful feeling of getting to know the insides of all these lovely queens are all about at the same time, getting to know who truly inspired them and how they could be an inspiration to all of us. What really goes towards winning that crown, the crown which every girl dreams of. So today, we're all here talking about a lovely queen from Belgium. Till now, absolutely, we're all extremely fond of and the conversations are always about Belgium chocolates. But now on, we shall also start talking about our beautiful queens. May we please welcome our Miss Heritage Belgium 2020, Miss Anais Rukinier. A whole lot of welcome to you, Anais. How are you doing today? Thank you for having me. I'm actually really good today. Uh, how are you? <laughs> I'm absolutely fine. Thank you so much, Anais. That's very kind of you. At first, let me truly welcome you on behalf of River Comics, our main sponsor for the show, Queens Forever, which really makes our lovely place completely <laughs> beautiful and colorful with the beautiful app of River Comics, which wherever you are in the world, all you need to do is download it free and watch it with all your loved ones, interesting stories narrated and mentioned in the most magical way. Magic is also in the air with We International and you're watching us on in that TV. So thank you, Anais. Let's get started with you. When was the first time you ever dreamt of you wanted to wear the crown? Well, um, the first time was actually um, on a later age uh, when social media became uh, very popular and there was this, um, how do I say it? Um, the perfect image they created online. And I was, um, I tricked myself uh, with that first, uh, with that perfect image because I wanted to be like the other girls on Instagram and all the social media, but actually I don't need it to look like them. Um, but when I signed myself up for a model agency and I did the casting and I went uh, to the casting, they were actually very nice and they said I had a pretty face. So I did academy uh, with them. I trained the uh, catwalk and uh, photo shoot pictures, uh, poses, uh, stuff like that. And our at the end, we did an exam um, and we were running our, actually we were running our own um, fashion show. And the winner of that night became, um, uh, they sent the winner of that night to Paris for a photo shoot. So that was a very special uh, night. And actually I won, I won that night. After uh, in the backstage, one of the juries came to me and the first thing she said was, um, my ass was, too thick and I needed to be skinny but that was the whole point why I participating in the first place because I wanted to create something else that was the perfect image and so that's where it actually all started um, and then I participated with um, beauty pageants so because I don't want to be beautiful like on the inside uh, on the yeah, on the outside only uh, because in a pageant, you have to be smart and you have to be kind and not only the beautiful thing on the outside, the perfect image like they uh, create online. So uh, that was actually the first time I wanted to become a beauty queen. <laughs> beautiful. And you narrated it. Uh, so I want to know from you because this is what all the young girls would like to know. But how important is it? Because not everyone would like to or would be able to afford mm -hmm. to spend money to go to a finishing school or to go to a modeling school, you know, or a beauty pageant school. So how important you think is for an individual, for a lovely girl, you know, who's really passionate about her work to actually enroll in a school? Or is it fine you can train yourself on your own as well? Um, I think it's not um, necessary for going to a school for that because you can learn it on yourself. But I think um, with teachers and stuff to teach you the 
the things you have to learn actually because yeah i don't know how to say it because um there are poses they create right. and you you can learn them uh but you can also learn from yourself but i think it's not necessary to for going to school but i think a teacher will do a little more so true as you always say you need a guiding light you know and the person exactly. practical experience when it's one on one narrated to you you know to correct the posture you know right the way you walk talk the way you present you bring everything those nuances need to be taken care of in a personal class or when you personally meeting someone could be virtually but personally meeting absolutely wonderful and nice and uh, we are with you and you are naturally born beautiful i wanted to know uh who from your family inspired you to go ahead into this world of pageant <laughs> um it was actually a surprise for my family too um they not um uh, actually standing after uh but up behind every decision i make but they will always support me and being there for me um but during through all the years i am participate thing in pageants the first one they thought okay it's fine um it's it's fun for you and it's fun for us to look at you because they they came to watch just the show live um but through the years there were a kind of problems and they didn't like it anymore for me <laughs> um so now i think now they are standing this uh, behind Ali they support me but they are not standing after my decision <laughs> sure what part of the mind during the time of the pageant which is extremely crucial which will help you win the crown we we'll find out this and much more but right after this super short commercial break see you guys soon Wow, 
truly, truly excited to welcome you all to our Miss Heritage Belgium and our humble thanks to Mr. Santo Sapkota, our director from the Heritage Pageant for truly making it possible. So Anais, I'm gonna definitely know from you. Tell us during the time of the pageant, what is the preparation that really gets into? How many months before or how many weeks before do you start training and looking after yourself? Um, how many months? The year you have to preparation, it is almost a year, I think, when you are starting. Um, first, the, uh, you have activities with the group of your pageant sisters. You do fun stuff like you go in paintball or you have a photo shoot. And actually, yeah, a, a few months before the show, you actually prepare your dances your answers you get trained for the show um and not that it is a less uh fun part because you still have the fun with all the girls um learning the dances and learning a lot of stuff you you need to know and yeah i think yeah you have we start a year before the show with the preparations we want to know um, what's your easiest round at a beauty pageant for you. It's very easy. The easiest round, mm, I think, the uh, defilés uh, when you actually just walk the fashion show when you are um, when you have to wear uh, from stuff from your sponsor and you have to walk through the show. I think that is the easiest part because you just need to walk and to pose and smile <laughs> and just standing there. <laughs> I which think that is like the easiest. Of, yeah. Which is like your born natural, uh, you know, I mean, just to walk and pose. So that's exactly, <laughs> exactly. I uh, just wanted to mention this, you have a beautiful laughter. It really comes from the heart. Thank you. <laughs> I like the laughter. It's, it's very nice. Makes us feel very, very, uh, you know, bubbly and vibrant. Yeah. It's really <laughs> and which is the toughest part of the beauty pageant, according to you? Uh, the toughest part, I think, uh, that are the questions. Um, because you never know which question you get. And you only have a few seconds to make your statement. You have to um, you you have to um, take the jury on your side and the audience, and um, it's 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 difficult because you only have those few seconds to say what's your statement and so true, yeah to answer the question. So true. Yeah. Yeah. You have to think on your toes because you have no choice there. And, you know, on the snap of the fingers and with all the nervousness, somehow you're thinking also, you know, exactly. goes slower speed. You, the fact that you have also the nerve, nerves on stage, and you, you are still standing there on, on stage and you have to perform with that nerve and you, you get the question and you don't know it before. Uh, yeah, I think that is the toughest round because you you just don't know which question you get. And you have no idea which jury is going to ask you too. So, you know, I mean, I mean, that gets a little because of the differences, you know, um, the country and the culture differences. You know, the question might be difficult to answer. Absolutely. I am by exactly. your side. And I agree with that. I <laughs> uh, just definitely we want to know so much more about uh, you and your experience. But tell me, which of the beauty queens in the past have inspired you to truly win the crown? Well, exact. Actually, uh, she's from India. <laughs> uh, she is uh, Miss World 2000, <laughs> Priyanka Chopra. <laughs> She is, she's, she is such an inspiring woman. Um, she has her own um, foundation for um, education and health for Indian children. And I think that is very important 
for those children um, all around the world, not in the not only India, but all around the world, that uh, children has to get a good, uh, and they have the right to get a good education because it depends on their future. It's so true. By the way, just to mention, we're all extremely big fans of Priyanka Chopra. Yeah, <laughs> me the too. <laughs> and she's made not just the country proud, but now the world proud as well with the kind of work that she does in the philanthropic world, for sure. So thank you so much. That was pretty much interesting. You will be probably in the same zone as Priyanka Chopra and Anais. We'll see after this super short commercial break. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for V International Founder, President, Chairman, Mr. Bharat Goradia, Bollywood star. Comics, V International. I'm truly, truly delighted to welcome our lovely Queen Anais with Heritage Belgium 2020 on Indas TV in the show Queens Forever. You know, I just want to know what is your take on, as they always say, once a queen, always a queen. What is your take on this? I think um, the sense is actually right. Because you never lose your title. You always gonna be the beauty queen. It doesn't matter how many years they are uh, passing. Because take, for example, uh, Priyanka Chopra, it's been 11 years, but she is still a queen. <laughs> so true. Absolutely, I'm with you. And uh, yeah, we've spoken quite a bit about your yes, <laughs> One and uh, as I said, it's, it's an absolutely lovely moment for any girl in the world to speak about her. That way, for anybody to speak, you know, but we girls have that special corner, uh, you know, and get inspired by her. Uh, you know, I'm going to come before I come towards my last round. I'm going to ask you to share with everyone those three things which really changed you completely and took you to this international arena of beauty pageants. What is it that you really worked upon yourself? Those three things which would probably help others, you know, who really look up to you, Anais, as a guiding figure, as a role model for them. Uh, what would you like to tell them? How can they improve on three aspects of their life? Um, what, what I want um, in, in life for myself? No, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think, what changed you in life? Those three aspects which changed you in life completely. Um, I think uh, would comp with me change, right? <laughs> yes. So let me tell you, or let me repeat this. Uh, Anais has been, you know, very, very lucky to actually having visited a school, you know, a school where she's actually learned everything. So let us truly ask her to unleash some secrets from her finishing school. So come on, help us with any three tips, Anais, which is going to help every girl in the world be the best version of themselves. What really works for you? Please let us know. Um, actually, the first thing is to always uh, smile. Um, you always see the models with a straight face, but I think it's it's important to to smile. Let let the world see that you are happy, and let those teeth 
let, let them see your teeth. <laughs> let them see your smile. <laughs> That's the first thing I, I learned because they always uh, saying uh, that models having those straight faces, um, but it isn't necessary. I think you just give me that smile. <laughs> Lovely. And uh, which other two aspects you like to tell us? I think it's very, very important. You've given everyone the most important thing. Also, when you smile, you're not nervous. So, you know, you are absolutely relaxed. And uh, which other tip you like to give them? Exactly. Um, like to two other tips. Um, one is actually um, of my director of uh, Miss uh, Heritage. She always give me those poses because I'm not actually very good at those uh, at the beginning of a photo shoot. I need to lose myself uh, at, through the photo shoot. Um, and she actually, um, she gave me that tip that you need to put your hand and then you need your palm to go like this. That is one uh, tip she gave me and I will always remember it because I didn't exactly uh, knew it and sure. you will always get your pose right if you put your hands like this <laughs> you exactly. can never go wrong with it absolutely and uh, uh, in fact not as models and beauty pageant queens but uh, even our uh, stars you know from the film community and every star every superstar or rock star would like to pose in that posture not essentially a rock star, but yes, it's a female, then yeah, <laughs> posing for sure. The red carpets and carpets as well. So exactly. uh, that's it. So that, those are two important tips. And I think they're like really brilliant enough. So one is how to pose and one is the smile, which is very important. So don't feel shy to show your teeth and go ahead, flaunt yourself and flaunt your beautiful smile. So thank you. Uh, we're coming towards the end of our uh, beautiful interview. Uh, let me tell you, we've learned so much from you, Anais. Thank you for sharing with us all your knowledge and, of course, at the same time, expertise and encouraging every single girl to go ahead and dream big. So here we are towards the rapid fire round. So let's get started. Yeah, okay. <laughs> What's your favorite food which you have to give up because of your beauty pageant, uh, either before the beauty pageant or you gave it up forever? I actually didn't give up anything. <laughs> I, I, I just stay eating everything. <laughs> You're so lucky. Like, very <laughs> few of those who are lucky and uh, who don't really need to go, uh, you know, on a particular, you know, diet or on a particular, uh, you know, style of eating. So thank you. You've been blessed. I must say this. <laughs> She's born to be one. According to you, uh, if you had to do makeup in five minutes, because you know, at a pageant, we don't have time, and sometimes we're always lacking sleep, but it's it's also the excitement and the thrill to do things. But if you had to do makeup in five minutes, then what do you think you like to focus on and accentuate your lips, your eyes? How would you like to do your makeup? I would go for my eyes. Just a fine eyeliner and maybe some red lipstick that will be fine for me. <laughs> Wonderful. What's that one at most important thing to stand out amidst all the other beauty queens? To stand out. I think yeah. um, just standing out being yourself. Just, yeah, I think that is just uh, every, I see many people change during a pageant but i think it's important just just to be yourself with your own mindset and then you're going to achieve more than you will expect sure your favorite color for the swimwear round <laughs> and for the evening wear round what's your favorite color i think i will go for red <laughs> for both swimwear as well as evening gown um for the evening, I would go for red because red is a powerful color and you're going to, going to yeah, you are going to look very um, outstanding. You're going to, yeah, everyone, everyone is going to see you. Um, and for swimming where I think I would go for yellow because it's the color of the sun and it's 
for me it means heat and yeah the sun makes me happy <laughs> lovely who do you would like to give the credit for you winning the crown that you won at the pageant uh, do you think you'd like to give the credit to your family or your teachers who would you like to give the credit for having I won the crown I think I will give the credits uh, to my family because I already said it, uh, that they, they are not standing behind every uh, decision I make, but they will always support me. So I think that is uh, very important for me. So the credit will go to my family. Wonderful. I'm going to definitely ask you something which is crazy. Your favorite color stilettos, which would mm. they be? Black, black. <laughs> it oh, goes black. with everything. <laughs> so true. And uh, now I know where does all that laughter come from. So Anais has become a very natural at it, but naturally you start enjoying life once you really know, learn the art of life, which is what beauty pageants truly really teach you. Do they really teach you so much? The answer lies yes. I'm going to ask you how important according to you is Miss Congeniality round, Anais. I think that is uh, a very important title. Actually, like every other title, I think when you win a title, I think you are, you did your, your job right. You, you did your pageant right. You, you did it all right when you win a title. So I think it's, it, I think it's a very important one. Beautiful. Thank you. And we have a very special question. But to ask you that question, we have someone from the United States, our world's number one promoter of art and culture. Maybe welcome, Mr. Bharat Goradia ji. Hi, Anais. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. How about you? Absolutely fine. After seeing you, super fine. <laughs> <laughs> After seeing you, two beauties, you and um, Simran. Simran is also the title winner. So both beautiful. Uh, anyway, uh, on behalf of our sponsor River Comics and We International. It is my great pleasure and privilege to welcome you on one of the most outstanding talk show called Queens Forever. I have a, a very interesting question to ask you. Uh, if given the opportunity to go on date with any of your country star or celebrity or even Bollywood or Hollywood stars, whom will you take and where will you take? Um. Well, we have in uh, Belgium several um, talented actors, and one of them is called Matteo Simoni. He's a, a, a Belgian actor with uh, Italian roots, and he gets always different uh, roles in movies, and he always plays them wonderful. Um, so I think I would go on a date with him, um, but where? I think that doesn't matter. I, I like to go to the beach, <laughs> maybe a picnic on the beach, on the sand. That will, uh, that, that's what I would like. <laughs> but which country beach you will go? USA, Mal Belgium, mm. India, where will you go? <laughs> there are many beaches. <laughs> um, I think I'll stay in Belgium <laughs> at the, oh, uh, in our and coast. <laughs> patriotism, right? <laughs> Anyway, thank you so, so very much on behalf of our sponsor, uh, River Comics and We International for spending your valuable time, sharing your experiences and making us privileged with your wisdom and knowledge and give the best of the tips to uh, young girls how to win the crown. So thank you very much once again. Wishing you all the very best in all your forthcoming projects and see you very, very soon in US. <laughs> thank you guys for having me. Thank you, Bharat, and thank you, Simran. Thank you, Indus TV, for having this interview with me. <laughs> and thank you to River Comics. All you need to do is download the app, make your life truly interesting and beautiful. We look forward to meeting you at another beautiful queen. But till then, I want each and every one of you, wherever and whichever sphere of life that you belong to, just be the beautiful you. Believe in yourself, have the confidence, and you will be there to truly make a mark in every endeavor of your life. Thanking you, and of course, look forward to meeting yet another queen, where we are all set to take you to yet another country. Are you guys ready?
then dream big. And of course, go ahead and have your visions intact. See you guys.